you are actually the writer and director of your own life. You are the star in the movie of your life and you are able to change the script. You can edit the script anytime you want. This video is gonna show you how to do that so that you can have a happy ending. Now let's look at the framework for how to get a girlfriend. So Dr. Helen Fisher's work suggests there are three stages to having a relationship, but I'm actually going to expand it and include two extras. So in my version, there are five stages to being able to find, attract, and keep a satisfying long-term relationship, if that's what you're looking for. So the five stages are one, know your deal breakers and, maker, and makers, two, know her deal breakers and makers, and then three, attract and engage, four, create rapport, four, create rapport, and five, build a relationship. So let's go into these in a little bit more detail. Number one, your deal makers. So in order to find and track and keep the woman of your dreams, you need to first of all know what that looks like. Like who is this person in the world? Not specifically who this person is, but what does that look like? You need to know what your deal makers, your top five must have qualities that without which any one of, no matter how amazing she is in every other category, if she's missing one of these things, it's a no go. So you need to figure that out. Knowing what your deal makers are sometimes often starts with knowing what your deal breakers are. So those are easier to figure out if you've had a past relationship, but there are ways of figuring that out, even if you have never been in a relationship before. Now, while one of your deal makers is probably going to be physical attraction, you want to be attracted to the person, you need to know, key point, physical attraction is not the only factor that's going to lead to a long-term happy successful relationship. In fact, you can actually get off track because of physical attraction and ignore lots of red flags that you otherwise wouldn't if the physical attraction wasn't so intense. So then you want to know what her deal makers are and her deal breakers. Now this is a little bit trickier, but there is a way of doing this. And again, my Wake Up to Love program goes through a more detailed process on figuring this out. But you can kind of get an idea as to what your ideal woman is going to probably want in her ideal man. And that means that you need to know where you sort of fall short. You need to know where your blind spots are so that you can correct the things, correct the things that are not working for you and embrace the things that are so that, you know, if this ideal woman is not the person that is going to be attracted to you for who you really are, your best self, then she's not actually your ideal woman. The next stage is attract and engage. So before you can actually be effective in attracting and engaging with women, especially high quality, high value women, is being able to really understand women better than they understand themselves. So when you know these street smarts, thank you Ross, for what a woman really needs, what her true biological innate needs are, what all women need, the basic fundamentals, then you will be able to provide that for her in a natural way. And you'll be able to navigate the dating jungle a lot easier. Next stage is create rapport. When you understand a woman's basic innate needs, then you'll more naturally be able to instantly create and maintain rapport. One of the basic needs women have is to feel safe. Now men automatically assume physical safety, but we also are talking about emotional safety. So women are constantly gauging whether you're physically safe, and emotionally safe. So if you can go out of your way to make her feel safe naturally, then she will naturally feel more at ease and relaxed around you. And once you've established rapport, it's really easy to move into the next stage because it just happens naturally. And that is building a relationship. So in the beginning stages of building a relationship, you're just getting to know each other. And a really key point here is if you already know your deal breakers and what your ideal woman's deal breakers and deal makers should be, then you will be vetting her as much as she should be vetting you. And what I mean by that is if you've done the previous steps well and skillfully, 
then she will be attracted to you even when there are red flags for her.